Five emojis that you've been using wrong, part two. You may have seen this in comic books before where it means bam. But when texting, it means the person you're talking to has lost their temper or is out of control. Apart from meaning ban, the X emoji also symbolizes a kiss. This emoji is a Japanese ogre named Namahage, which drives away evil spirits. This emoji represents the mask of Tengu, which is a demon from the Japanese mythology. It's used to tell the person you're texting with that they're being arrogant. This emoji means no good. In Asian countries, it's often shortened to these two letters. Ouch. What's wrong? I've had a really bad pain in my neck all day. Oh, well I'm going to the store right now. Do you want me to get you something for your neck? Yeah, that would be great. Okay, what do you want me to get? A diamond necklace. <gasps> you know that I won't stop. I need to tell you something. You what is it, babe? I you broke your Xbox. You what? Just kidding, I cheated on you. On so my I'll Xbox is okay, mine. right? First name? Robin. Last name? The bank. So you're robbing the bank? Mom, did you change the Wi-Fi password? Oh, yeah I did. The new password is 123456. Okay, thanks. It didn't work. Huh? What did you type? 123456. No, it's 123456. Did you know you have a big nose and you're really fat? Thanks for letting me know. Did I miss something? Yeah, the door out of my life. <sighs> Jesse, can you come here? What? You want some help? No! I want you to stand there and watch me. Hey, Mom, are you still vacuuming? No! I'm walking the dog! Is that you? No! That's my twin brother. But you don't have a twin brother. Actors that can't stand their movies. Daniel Radcliffe in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. The actor grew up on movie sets because of the eight Harry Potters through ten years. But he said he hates the sixth movie because his acting was awful. George Clooney in Batman and Robin. In 1997, Batman and Robin was so unsuccessful that no one made another Batman movie for eight years. George Clooney decided to apologize to people who watched it and also Adam West who played Batman in the 60s. Alec Guinness in Star Wars. He once called Star Wars fairy tale rubbish. He didn't consider Obi-Wan's role to be a serious work and the dialogue of the character irritated him. Secrets movie theater don't want you to know. Movie theaters earn very little from ticket sales. That's why they decided to lower the cost of tickets and raise the cost of food. So the earnings would go entirely to the movie theater. Food combos won't always save you money. Sometimes it's just a strategy to make you think it's the best option. So next time check if it's better to buy a combo or buy the food separately. Sometimes there's people yelling at the cabin for the movie to start. But what they don't know is that the cabin is completely empty. Thanks to new technology, human assistance isn't needed. Movies will never start at the time the ticket says it will. This way they'll get more people to watch the ads before the movie. And if you ever Ever thought you were cool sneaking into another movie than the one that you bought? The employees don't really care as long as there are seats available. Hey, I got married. Oh, that's good. No, that's bad. She's ugly. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. She's rich. Oh, that's good. No, that's bad. She won't give me a cent. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. She bought me a big house. Oh, that's good. No, that's bad. The house burnt down. Oh, that's bad. No, that's good. She was in it. Duh. I want you to be happier. You have one new voice message. Hi, honey. I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be home late. So can you please wash my clothes and make my favorite meal for supper? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, right. Now what? Oh, and I forgot to tell you. I got a raise at my job, so I'm going to buy you a brand new car. What? Hello? Are you actually buying me a new car? No, I just wanted to make sure you got my first message. <laughs> Holy crap, I just fell off the 50 foot ladder. Oh my god, are you okay? Yeah, it's a good thing I fell off the first step. <laughs> hey guys, so I've been reading articles about TikTok possibly being banned in the United States. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but just in case it does, I'm going to start posting more on Instagram and YouTube. So make sure you guys go follow me if you haven't already. The easiest way to find my Instagram and YouTube is by clicking this little guy right here. Hey. Did you get a haircut? No! My hair fell out. Anyway, I'm really hungry. Do you need food? No! I'm just gonna eat some air. <laughs> well, you better get cooking because it's getting late. No! Really? I thought it was 7 a.m. Your girlfriend looks so ugly. So? I mean, how could you love someone so ugly? Look at these $20 bills. 
This one is good looking, and this one is ugly with dirt on it. Will the value of the ugly one be less in a store? No. So same with people. It's not about looks, it's about the value they hold in our life. Biggest things ever stolen. A tank from the California Army was stolen by an unemployed plumber in 1995. The man destroyed everything in his path as the police chased him for 20 minutes. A beach in Jamaica was stolen in 2008. Police still don't know who did it, but they took sand that corresponds to 500 truckloads of sand. A World War II fighter plane was stolen by an Air Force commander. He restored it and sold it for over $300,000. This 3,000 pound bell was stolen from a Buddhist temple. The bell was only used for special occasions and was priceless to the monks, but it was sold for $500 a year later. And believe it or not, people in Mahatma village in India stole a mountain peak. They worked 11 hours a day to cut the rock. They stole it then sold it so they could feed their families. Coolest houses in the world. The safe house is the only home in the world designed for a zombie apocalypse. When you flip the switch, the mechanical concrete walls and steel doors shut making it impossible to get in. It even has a drawbridge to get to the pool so you don't have to go downstairs. This house has three floors with built-in slides. One side of the house has stairs to get to each floor, but on the other side there's a slide that you could ride all the way down to the first floor. The house also has a built-in ball pit. Finally, there's 130 of these floating houses being built in Dubai. The bedroom is on the lowest floor making it fully underwater. There's huge windows windows that overlook the coral reef. And on the top floor, there's a bar and hot tub. Mom, you lied to me. When, son? You said my younger brother's a small angel. So? Why didn't he fly when I threw him off the balcony? That was Justin! Why is Justin's number on your burner phone? What's going on? I promise I'll explain everything when all of this is over. All of what is over? What are you involved in? And how do you know my boyfriend? We've literally been dating for two weeks. I know. I'm the one who made sure you two met. What does that even mean? Why? Because I needed someone to protect and watch out for you. Like a bodyguard? Who the heck are you? You'll understand. Right now you need to tell me where Herb is. I don't know! I'm currently freaking out that my mom set me up with a fake boyfriend. I'm sorry, honey. I need to find out the truth. Okay, I'm asking Herb myself. Ten minutes later. Honey, are you okay? Herb just showed me a picture. She sends the picture. Oh my god. Don't worry, honey. It's going to be okay. I've got this covered. And that's the end of the story. But if you want more just like that, then click the link on my profile to download the app. Here's three survival tips that could one day save your life. Starting a fire with almost no resources. All you need is batteries and foil, like a bubblegum wrapper. Just put the foil at the end of the batteries and it will start to heat up and burn. Then once you get a flame, you could use things like Doritos to have a mini fire. Sending an emergency signal. Now that you know how to make a fire, you need a lot of smoke. To produce that, you could use fresh pine and spruce leaves, wet leaves from any other trees, or rubber materials. Another way to send a signal is by using something reflective, like a mirror, CD, metal, and even jewelry. Emergency number. A really handy thing to know is that most cell phones will dial your local emergency number even if you have no SIM card and no service. Where are you going, sir? I don't know. I didn't decide yet. Are you joking? Tell me where you're going. I don't know, man. I didn't decide yet. Where should I go? Do you know who I am? Cool, so I don't know where I'm going and you don't know who you are. Look at this funny TikTok. <laughs> that was actually a good one. I thought that app was just cringe. Alright, what's this thing called? TikTok? All right, now how do I do this? <laughs> That'll have to do it. Look, it's that guy that posted that cringe TikTok. How can he even come to school after posting that? Well, my last video got a thousand views, so I'm sure I could get more. Did you hear he just hit 100,000 followers? Yeah, but he just posts cringe videos. He's not going to get any more than that. <laughs> You're right. <gasps> it's Luke Davidson. He just hit 10 million followers today. 10 million? Yeah. <sighs> it was just a dream. Good morning, Luke. I just wanted to congratulate you on 10 million followers. A few days ago, I posted this TikTok and got a lot of comments about my teeth. You need to brush your teeth. Your teeth are so yellow. You need to go to the dentist. And before I posted that TikTok, just by watching it, I knew I was going to get comments like that because I know my teeth are yellow, but I brush my teeth twice a day. I've never had any cavities. And last time I went to the dentist, I asked her about them and she said they're just naturally that color. And if I wanted, I could try Crest 3D whitening strips, which is what I'm going to do. And if those don't work, then I could go in for their special treatment. Is that your girlfriend? No, I just like holding random people's hands for no reason. Is that your money? No! It's my dogs! We're almost out of gas. Should I pull into this gas station? No! Let's just keep driving till we run out. Can you see God? No. Can you touch God? No. Then there isn't a God. Can you see your brain? No. Can you touch your brain? No. 
I'm oh, so you don't have a brain? Babe, are you ready? Just wait, I have to do my makeup. You don't need makeup. Aw, really? You need plastic surgery. <laughs> Everyone who plays video games are nerds. I guess I'm a nerd then. I already knew that. Tell me something I don't know, freak. The taste of salad. I have a terrible pain in my leg. I'm afraid it's just old age. That can't be right. You don't know what you're talking about. How could you possibly know that I'm wrong? Well, it's quite obvious. My other leg is the exact same age. <gasps> Sweetheart, do you have any jokes? Yeah, I have a really good joke. Okay, then tell me that very nice joke that you have. You. <laughs> Alright, sir, so my first question for you is can you just tell me a little bit about your background? Yeah, of course. So, um, my background is actually of Mount Everest. That's it. I'm breaking up with you. You're way too addicted to gambling. What? Eh, you know what? It doesn't matter. I bet I can win you back. Honey, did you eat the pizza that I was saving in the fridge? No, I ate it in the living room. Where should I get your brother for his birthday? I have no clue. <sighs> oh, I have an idea. Can you go talk to your brother and try to see what he wants without making it too obvious? Sure, whatever. Happy birthday, Luke. Tickets? For what? Well, your sister heard you listening to the song called Losing It by Fisher last week, so I decided to get you two tickets to Chasing Summer in Calgary so you could go watch him perform live. Really? What is it? Tonight, so go get ready. Thank you guys so much. I'm disappointed with you. Fighting with your best friend is a terrible thing to do. He threw a rock at me, so I threw one at him. When he threw a rock at you, you should have came to me. What good would you have done? My aim's way better than yours. <gasps> the test results are out. Come with me and we'll go see them. I'm with my dad. Can you look for me? And if I fail one subject, text me good morning to you. And if I fail two subjects, text me good morning to you and your dad. You know how to do question 11? No, I'm not on that question yet. You'll have to ask the teacher. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Mom? The receipt's in the bag. Thank you. You too. Hey man, how's it going? Hey, it's really late. Are you still awake? Yeah? Aren't you scared of ghosts? You better go to sleep. Yes, I'm going. Put the dead body in the van. Hey officer, he was alive last night. What happened? He's been in this room dead for five days. We just found out now. Homeless people who won the lottery. Laszlo Andreszczyk was an alcoholic from Hungary who lost everything. He was homeless for seven years with hundreds of unpaid debts. But his luck changed when he bought a lottery ticket for just a few pennies. He won 636 million Hungarian guilders, which is equivalent to 2.5 million dollars. A man living in his car from England bought a lottery ticket with his last few pennies. He put the ticket away and six months after he bought it, he found out that he had won 250,000 pounds. A homeless man who lived in a tent won 50,000 dollars after buying a ticket. Even though he could have bought a small house to live in, he chose to upgrade his tent and help his homeless friends by giving them each a hundred dollars. Thank you guys so much for two million followers! And you know, since I'm like a little bit more famous now, I wanted to see if I could get myself on the celebrity lookalike app. I gotta make sure I get my best angle. What? Roger Federer. Oh, must be the smile. If you want to find out what celebrities you look like, just click this link on my profile. They click Celebrity Lookalike to download the app, and let me know in the comments who you get. My brother's in jail for something he didn't do. What didn't he do? He didn't run fast enough. Mom, we're gonna be late for my soccer game. You know, your generation has no patience. When I was your age, if I was standing at the door like you are, my mom would be yelling at me that I'm not helping her with the dishes. Ah, come on, you stupid computer! I don't have all day! Yo, bro, did you know that Lisa's brothers are twins? Yeah, of course. 
Really? How old are they? 18. And the other one? If you can make me laugh, I'll PayPal you one cent. I... no. What about a dollar? Oh, oh, I don't know, that's a big bank. Mm-hmm. Um, no. What about two? No. Three? It's not worth my time. Five dollars. Take it or leave it. What can I get with five dollars? You could get a Big Mac. I could. I definitely could. Alright, try. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> What's your PayPal? That was too funny, man. I... No joke, send it. Why? Because I sent you the money. You made me laugh. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You actually sent me the <laughs> Why? It's Christmas. I have a feeling that you are cheating on the test. What? Prove it. Well, the first question was who was the first president of the United States? The girl beside you put George Washington, and so did you. So? Everyone knows he was the first president. Just wait a minute. The next question was who freed the slaves? The girl beside you put Abraham Lincoln, and so did you. Well, I read the textbook last night, and I remembered that. The next question was who was the president during the Louisiana Purchase? She put I don't know, and you put me neither. If you could kiss me for free or the hottest girl in the world for a thousand dollars, who would you pick? No question, of course I'd pick you. What? Then who's the hottest girl in the world? <gasps> um, can I borrow your car? For what? What do you think? To go somewhere? No! To drive it off a cliff! Did you just yawn? No! I'm eating air! Oh, you're still awake? No! I'm sleeping with my eyes open! You're such a loser! Who's interrupting me during my TikTok? What's this? A package from Captain Bling Bling? Let's see what we got. The new MacBook Pro? There's probably nothing even in- Are you serious? Let's see if it works. <gasps> Thank you so much, Captain Bling Bling. I thought you were fake. Mythical creatures people have seen in real life. For a long time, the giant squid was considered a mythical creature that whipped the boats of sailors. But thanks to the advance in science, in 2004, a giant squid was found in its natural habitat. In 1967, two explorers filmed the creature walking in a Californian forest, which to this day is suspected to be Bigfoot. The chupacabra is a mythical creature that supposedly sucks the blood out of cattle, but there's a farmer who claimed he killed it. Mermaids are described as enchanting creatures. It is said that through their singing, they attract sailors. Many claim to have taken pictures with them, all the way from Mexico and Jamaica to the coast of some African countries. Just ready to have a baby. I am Doc. We actually have this new system that transfers some of the pain to the father, if you're interested in that. I mean, that sounds good with me. What do you think, honey? Sure, whatever. Let's just get this over with. All right, we'll start off easy by transferring 10% of the pain. Huh, I like this system. I can't feel anything. That's a little better. All right, then let's bump it up to 30%. Huh, still nothing. Ah, oh, that's getting way better. Oh, sorry about that. Just one second. Hello? Hey, man, it's Carl. Oh, hey. I just ate something that really upset my stomach. Oh, jeez, that's not good. Turn it up to 70. Oh, now it hurts even more. You better get that checked out before it gets any wo Doc, turn it up to 100%. Hey dear, there's a- Stop it. One shall not speak while we're eating. If you say so. Now tell me, what were you saying? Nothing. There's just a cockroach in your burger. <gasps> Five most funny design fails. This sign says do not enter, but it also says entrance only, so I guess you can't go in or out. In this children's book, it says five bananas, but if you count them, there's actually six. In this lady's bathroom, there's holes cut out in the stall so you could see if anybody's using it. In this bathroom, the paper towel dispenser's right over the sink, so when you go to get paper, it gets wet. Now before I show you the craziest one, I found this app that tells you your celebrity lookalike, and apparently I look like Marilyn Monroe. Just press a button on my profile to get it. Finally, this person thought they were doing a four mile run trail, but after they finished the four miles, they realized that it kept going. Every question I ask you that you don't know the answer to, you give me $5. And every question you ask me that I don't know the answer to, I'll give you $5,000. Okay. How many continents are there in the world? I'm not sure. My turn. What animal stands with two legs but sleeps with three legs? Ah. By the way, what was the answer to your question? What? Honey, I have to ask you something really important. Who do you love more, me or your father? I love you both equally. Okay, well if I went to Italy and your father went to Japan, where would you go? Mm, Japan. See? I knew it.
You love your dad more than me. No, I just always wanted to go to Japan. Oh, okay. Well, if I went to Japan and your father went to Italy, where would you go? I'd go to Italy. See? You do love your dad more than me. No, it's just I would go to Italy because I would have already been to Japan. Can you empty the dishwasher, please? I'm good. Thank you. Mom, that actually means no. That's how my generation talks. Let's try this again. Empty the flippin' dishwasher or get my foot up your arse. Okay, 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 okay. That's what I thought. When I type in my computer password, it shows up as stars. What's the problem? Those are there to protect you, so if someone's standing behind you, they can't read your password. Yeah, but the stars show even when no one's standing behind me. Excuse me, sir. Is this bike for sale? Yes, it is. Would you like to purchase it? What's the lowest you'll go? What's the lowest I'll go? Probably like two miles per hour. Anything slower and you'll tip over. Do you know which mouse can walk on two legs? No. Mickey Mouse, and which duck can walk on two legs? Donald Duck? No, every duck can walk on two legs. Animals that are bigger than you thought. This is how big horses' lungs are. This is how big a giant leatherback sea turtle is compared to a human. Here's how big a giant African land snail is compared to a hand. Here's how big a blue whale's heart is compared to a human. Here's how big eagle's claws are compared to a hand. And here's how big a saltwater crocodile is. Can I borrow your phone to call my girlfriend? Your phone's a genius. When I... Your phone's a genius. When I put in her number, it showed up at... Oh. Your phone's a genius. When I put in her number, it said calling girl... girl. Your phone's a genius. When I put in her number, it said calling girlfriend. Are you a camera? What kind of question is that? Because every time I look at you, I smile. I think you love your girlfriend a lot. Why do you say that? I hear you calling her baby, sweetie, and cutie. No, I actually forgot her name. Ma'am, do you know why I pulled you over? No, but I'm in a rush. I understand, ma'am, but I have to ticket anyone over 55. That's discrimination! Ma'am, I meant the speed limit. <gasps> Can I get some medications for hiccups, please? Ow! What did you do that for? Well, you don't have hiccups anymore, do you? I never had hiccups. My wife does. <gasps> What can I get for you to drink today? Like Just a beer, please. Why are you so down today? What's wrong? My wife and I got into a fight and she said she wouldn't talk to me for a month. So, what's wrong with that? The month ends today. <laughs> Were you born on the highway? No. Why? Because that's where most accidents happen. Mom, I'm gonna go to Jerry's house for a bit. Can you pick up milk? Yeah, that's easy. No, I meant from the store. Oh. Well, I would imagine it weighs the same weight there, too. <laughs> Hello? Who is this? I'm Watt. What's your name? Watt's my name. Yes, what's your name? My name is John Watt. John Watt? Yes, are you Andy? No, I'm not. Can you tell me your name, then? Will not. Why not? My name is not. Not what? Not what? Not. I love you. I meant the letter U, not you. I love you too, but as a friend. <gasps> my boyfriend got me a new tab. Wow, I'll ask my boyfriend if I can get one. Babe, can you get me a new tab, please? Sure, open your laptop. Online booking, I love you so much. Now open Google Chrome. Done. Now press Control T. <gasps> Hello, sir. Are you interested in buying a vehicle? No. I came here to make some new friends. Hey, where are you right now? I'm at the airport. Oh, are you going on a trip? No. I came here to go grocery shopping. Oh, it's dark outside. 
No, really? I thought it was the middle of the day. Bread, milk, chicken, rice. Can you put some peanut butter on the shopping list? Okay, I'll be right back. Why did you tell me to do this? Now I can't even read it. Huh? <gasps> what is your qualification? It's I'm a PhD. And what exactly do you mean by PhD? Past high school with difficulty. Very you How did your meal taste, sir? You know what, can I just speak to the manager, please? Yes, of course, I'll go grab him. You wanted to speak with me? Yeah, hi, you must have a really clean kitchen. <sighs> have you seen our kitchen? Because all this food tastes like soap. <laughs> Bro, why did you throw an apple at that kid? He said onions are the only food that makes you cry, so I was proving him wrong. What's the chemical formula for water? H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O. What are you talking about? Yesterday you said it's H2O. Did you do the chores? Yes. You're such a liar. I checked. Me a liar? You told me about the tooth fairy. Five emojis that you've been using wrong. Lots of people think this emoji symbolizes praying, but it's actually a high five. When you first look at this, it looks like a kiss, but it's actually a whistle. The right-facing fist doesn't mean to punch, but is a sign of respect. This emoji is usually used to get people to read what's underneath it, but also symbolizes being under the weather or feeling down. This isn't just a pink ribbon, it's actually the symbol for fighting cancer. Can I have money for a gym membership? Will you become John Cena by going to the gym? Am I becoming Einstein by going to school? Do you want to be my partner? No, you're a loser. I may not be perfect, but at least I'm not you. Slow down, slow down, you're going way too fast. I'm going 41 in a 40 zone. Do you see that stop sign up there? Yes, it's a long ways away though. Are you sure you see it? Yes, mom, I see it. Well, are you gonna slow down or what? Come on, use the right pedal. There we go, thank you. Mom, the light just turned red. Oh, thank you. As you can tell, I'm still bored at home, but luckily, I found another super addicting game. You try and fly as far as you can, and the farther you get, the more money you make. With the money, you could upgrade your jetpack and running speed. Just click the link on my profile, then press jetpack jump to download it for free, and let me know in the comments what you think of the game. Mom, can you give me a hundred dollars? No! Do you think money grows on trees? What is money made of? Paper. And where does paper come from? My husband went missing. Okay, we'll be right there. Can you give us a description of your husband? He's six foot two inches, has blonde wavy hair, and always has a smile on his face. Thank you, we're just gonna verify this with your neighbor. You can't believe her. He's five foot four inches tall, bald, and always has a frown on his face. Why did you lie to us? Just because I reported him missing doesn't mean I want him back. <laughs> Pictures you're not supposed to see. Here's what an owl looks like without any feathers. This is what tiger skin looks like. Here's a human heart without any blood. This is what the bottom of a fire hydrant looks like. Here's the inside of a turtle's mouth. Here's the inside of a bowling ball. And here's the inside of a dice. Luke, give me your phone. But I already finished the test. Oh yeah? Let me see then. Yeah, you definitely failed. Why are you always so mean to me? Let me tell you something. You will never make it in life. Oh my gosh, sir, you're my favorite actor right now. Do you mind if I get a picture? <laughs> Thanks, but no. What? <laughs> Why not? Don't you remember me? I'm Mr. You will never make it in life. Yeah, yeah. Track and dope turn me to a superhero, yeah. <laughs> you look familiar. Shut up, you're not funny. What did the ocean say to the other ocean? I don't know. Nothing. They just wave. You're really not funny, by the way. Did you see what I did there? Shut up. You're not funny. Come on. I'm sure you did. Oh my god. No one likes you. Oh, come on. Don't be a beach. <gasps> Three places you're not allowed to visit. In Atlanta, Georgia, they made this vault to hide the recipe for Coca-Cola. And legend has it that only two or three employees actually know the ingredients. The people who live on North Sentinel Island are known for firing flaming arrows and throwing rocks at tourists. So the government decided it's off limits. This vault in Norway holds thousands of seeds for every plant on earth, which could restore the earth if there is ever a disaster that wiped out all of our natural resources. Jenna Ortega, again? Do you remember me from last week on Omegle? 
you know, it's fine. I didn't expect you to. Anyways, I do have one question for you, if you don't mind. So let's say in a couple of years from now, I decide I want to try and become an actor. Do you have any tips on like how to remember your lines? How do you remember your lines? I have a photographic memory. So all I really have to do is read over the lines once or twice, sometimes out loud if I really need it. And then I'm pretty much good. Really? Something that helps though, if you're having trouble with a line, if somebody's asking you a question, it's not going to be difficult because if you listen to what they're asking you, you remember, oh, this is the answer, hmm. you know? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I do have one more question. It's kind of weird, but do you know what my dad's name is? James. What? How did you know? I love you. I love you so much. It's you, crazy. You to no, no. Where did she go? My stupid internet. Hey, babe, can I ask you a question? Yeah, what is it? Does your family pray before you eat dinner? No. Why not? Because my mom knows how to cook. Stop taking pictures of yourself. Make me. I'm sorry, but your mom already made that mistake. <gasps> I'm actually using this celebrity lookalike app, see? What? How do I get that? Just click the link on my profile. For some reason, I got the same as you. Stop taking pictures of yourself. Make me. I'm sorry, but your mom already made that mistake. I'm actually just trying to find my celebrity lookalike, see? What? How do I do that? Just click the link on my profile, then press celebrity lookalike and download it. I got the same as you. Animals you should never touch. This thing of the bulletin is so painful that it could cause nausea, vomiting, and even heart problems. People who have gotten stung by this ant say the same is similar to if you got shot by a bullet. The cat moth caterpillar looks really friendly, but I would recommend that you don't touch it. Because through their hairs they release a poison that can cause vomiting, weakness, and shivering. The Japanese giant hornet is so dangerous that if you touch it, it could kill you. The venom from the stinger can destroy human tissues to the point where it makes you walk with difficulty. Another highly venomous animal is the blue ringed octopus. If you see one of these get away quickly because even though they're small, its venom can result in nausea, respiratory and heart problems, or even death if you don't treat it within a few minutes. And finally, the box jellyfish has been called the most venomous creature in the world. Its venom kills so fast that there's nothing you can do about it. Sorry, I can't come into work today. Why not? Are you sick? It's my eyes. Why? What's wrong with your eyes? I just can't see myself coming to work today. <gasps> Dad, I want to get married. Say sorry. For what? Say sorry. But for what? First you have to say sorry. But what did I do? Say sorry first. At least tell me the reason. First say sorry. Okay dad, I'm sorry. Now you're ready for marriage. You learn to say sorry without any reason. Hello? Wrong number! Hello? Okay, so that's one with cheese and one with pepperoni. You can pick it up in 20 minutes. Who was that? I don't know, but I took his order, so now we can sleep. <gasps> Welcome to my house. Wow, this is your house? No! It's my neighbor's. Mom, do you have any flour? Why, are you baking something? No! I want to plant it outside and see if it turns into a real flour. Mom, I'm gonna go for a walk. Right now? No! In three weeks! Yes, do you know why I pulled you over today? Nope. Well, I caught you going 80 in a 60 zone. Can I see your license, please? You guys need to get your act together. What do you mean? Just yesterday, you guys took my license away, and now today, you expect me to show it to you. Dude! <laughs> secrets in everyday items that you didn't know about. Have you ever wondered why doorknobs are made out of brass or some sort of alloy metal? This is because those materials help prevent bacteria from spreading. If you take the lid off your cup and place it underneath, it fits perfectly as a coaster. Have you ever wondered why there's a hole in plane windows? The hole is in the middle pane of the three window panes. It takes off pressure from the outer pane so the window doesn't break. Gas pump hoses are attached by magnets. So if you forget to take out the hose, the pump won't go with you. The number on the side of lotion tells you how long the product will last so you don't damage your skin. The different colors on the bottom of toothpaste tubes actually mean something. Blue means it's made with natural resources and medicine. Green means it's only made with natural resources. Red means it's made with natural resources and some chemical compositions. And black means it's made with pure chemicals. Hey, class isn't the place to sleep. And home isn't the place to study. I just met the woman of my dreams. What should I do? Send her some flowers and on the card invite her over for a home cooked meal. That's genius. Thank you. I wonder how his meal went. Well, that was a terrible idea. Didn't she come to your house? She did, but she refused to cook.
My husband's missing. How long has he been missing for? Since last winter. So why did you wait till spring to report him missing? Because the landscaping company is asking too much to mow the lawn. <gasps> Funniest ways people got revenge. When Mark's laptop was stolen from him, he hacked into it from his house and found an embarrassing video of the thief dancing in front of the camera. He then uploaded it to YouTube where it went viral and the thief saw it. So he returned the laptop begging for Mark to take the video down, but he didn't. When a girl found out her boyfriend had cheated on her, she asked him to get matching tattoos as a symbol of love, which he agreed to. But she left him without getting hers, leaving him with a tattoo to remind him of her. This guy was just doing his job painting over some graffiti, but I guess the people who painted it weren't too happy with him. They got revenge by painting him on the wall where he had just covered up. Five people who won the food lottery. This pack usually comes with 12 cookies, but they got two extra. This person got three pizzas instead of two. A lemon the size of a watermelon grew on this person's tree. This person got three Pop-Tarts in a pack of two. And this person got an avocado without the seed. Okay class, I want everyone to introduce themselves by saying their first name and something that you enjoy doing. We're gonna start off with the boys first. My name is Luke, and I like watching sports. My name is Jesse, and I like watching sports too. My name is Todd, and I also like watching sports. Wow, all the boys love watching sports. What about the girls? My name is Sports. What's your favorite month? July. Why July? I didn't lie. It's two flowers plus two flowers. Four flowers? Very good. Now it's 2,563 flowers plus 8,922 flowers. A garden? <laughs> Everyday habits that are bad for you. Using your phone before going to bed. Artificial light at night reduces the production of melatonin, which is what helps you fall asleep. Stopping yourself from sneezing. When you try to prevent yourself from sneezing, pressure in your brain increases significantly. The blood flow in your brain is disrupted and your blood vessels and nervous tissues are compressed, which can lead to headaches, damaged vessels, and hearing problems. Leaving food in plastic containers. Lots of plastic containers have artificial chemicals which help them maintain their flexibility. If kept in there for a long time, those substances can get into your food and affect your organs. Here's the dark theory about Bikini Bottom. The Reddit user Catmaster pointed out that Bikini Bottom is named like that because it's directly under Bikini Atoll, which is where they did nuclear testing from 1946 to 1958. And because of this, the creatures that were living in that area have mutated and that's why they can talk. Another Reddit user said that chipmunks were among the animals kept on the Navy ship during these tests. And that's why Sandy wears a full protection suit and turns into a strong creature during hibernation. Here's 5 everyday things that you didn't know the purpose of. The number 57 on Heinz ketchup bottles. According to Heinz, only 11% of people know that it has nothing to do with the product label. It's actually a sweet spot to tap on to get the sauce onto your plate. Childproof bottle caps. Everyone knows plastic medicine bottles come with childproof caps. But if there's no children around, you can flip the cap upside down and it's no longer childproof. The arrow next to the fuel tank. The arrow actually points to which side of the vehicle the fuel tank's on, which is really handy if you're renting a vehicle. The little slot at the end of tape measures. The slot can be held on nails when you're measuring so you don't need anyone else to hold it. The ridge is on the F and J keys. These are there so your index fingers can locate other keys with muscle memory making it easier to type. I have the perfect son. Does he smoke? Nope. Does he drink alcohol? Nope. Does he ever come home late? Never. I guess you really do have the perfect son. He'll be six months old next week. I'm so fat, I want to lose weight. How much do you want to lose? At least 10 pounds. Then I would try taking off your makeup. <gasps> All jokes aside, if you want to lose weight, click the link on my profile, then press workout from home to download it. Then once it installs, fill out the information and it'll give you workout videos to follow for your body type and goal. That's exactly what I need, thank you. Unexplained photos that have finally been solved, part 3. After seeing this skeleton, many people thought mermaids were real. But it turns out someone just photoshopped this picture. Many people are shocked that the dog is the same size as the horse, and the picture is real, the owners just decided to enhance their dog. This picture shows two rainbows and a tornado. The Weather Network even aired this picture on live television, but later found out that it was just photoshopped. Timmy, how do you spell crocodile? K-R-O-K-O-D-A-I-L No, that's wrong. Maybe it's wrong, but you asked how I spell it! You're such a tryhard! No, I'm just better than what you expected. This hotel sucks. Why? What's wrong? Last night, I got no sleep. Every 15 minutes, this loud banging noise woke me up. Oh, I'm so sorry. How was your guys' stay? Terrible! The guy in the room beside us was snoring so loud that we had to bang on the wall every 15 minutes to wake him up. <gasps> you must be exhausted. Why? Because you've been running through my mind all day. 
Oh. What's your name? Shakim Washian. The name sounds familiar. Oh, I remember. It was next to the word gorgeous in the dictionary. Oh. Nice. <laughs> no. If a thousand kilograms equals a ton, what about three thousand kilograms? Oh, I know it, teacher! Okay, go on. Tan, tan, tan. It's freezing out here, isn't it? I know, and I forgot my toucan mitts. Oh man, what were you thinking? Oh, safe and sound. I like your tan. Thank you. Orange is my favorite color. <laughs> Mine's yellow. That's why I like your teeth. Ah, this stupid computer's broken. Luke, can you help me? What's the problem? It says press F5, but it doesn't work. Okay, show me. Press F5. <gasps> so, are you gonna wear your new shoes today? Yeah, why else would I buy them? Oh, I don't know. Just try not to get them dirty on the first day. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. So, how was school today? Good. Did you learn anything new? Oh, did anyone compliment you on your new shoes? No, Mom. Nobody cares about my shoes. Your husband just woke up from surgery. You can come see him now. Okay, thank you. But just to let you know, he's still on anesthetics. Hey, sweetie, how are you? You're so beautiful. Aww. You're so cute. What happened to me being beautiful? Drugs are wearing off. These secret service tactics that are insane. The president's main way of transportation is called the Beast. It's a Cadillac limousine with over 7 tons of armor which is 8 inches thick. It can defend against gunfire and explosives. But it never travels alone. In the line of vehicles, there's a black van that holds the counter assault team. And in total, there's 12 vehicles that each cost over a million dollars. When chefs are cooking food for the president, every single one of their movements is monitored by an agent to make sure they're not poisoning the food. When the president travels, chefs go with him to personally prepare his food. He doesn't eat any food that's gifted to him, and when he buys food, at a restaurant, he doesn't actually eat it. It's usually just for a photo. The president gets lots of online threats. And even if it's just a joke, they investigate every single aspect of that person's life. Their neighbors, friends, and employees can all be interviewed. They do this to see how serious the threat is, then decide if they need to take action on the person or not. This is the creepiest McDonald's in the world. In 1986, this McDonald's opened for the World Expo in Canada. Because of its location and cool features, it was placed ahead of the competition. It had real plants, wooden floors, and art covering the walls. Instead of you being able to see the kitchen like in regular McDonald's, the creators hid it. And to get the food to customers, they placed it on a conveyor belt. Millions of people from around the world ate there because it was a must-see tourist attraction. At the end of the expo, it was closed and abandoned for years. Now it looks like this. Hey mom, since it's Friday, can you get pizza before you come home? Yeah, I guess. Oh, and can I go to my friend's house later? That's fine with me, just ask your father. <sighs> can you ask him? Fine. Hey dad, can I ask you a question? What? Where's mom? Can I tell you a joke about a vacuum? Yeah, sure. Never mind, it sucks too much. How's your meal tasting, sir? Can I speak to the manager, please? Of course, just one moment. I heard you wanted to speak to me? Yeah, I wanted to compliment you on your very clean kitchen. Clean kitchen? <laughs> Have you seen our kitchen? No, but it must be clean because all this food tastes like soap. <laughs> Babe, what would you do if I broke up with you? Uh, I'd probably get back together with my ex. Now I see how much you care about me. We're done. What? We were supposed to go and watch a movie tonight. Go with your ex. But you are my ex. <gasps> If you had five dollars and asked your mother for another five dollars, how much money would you have? I would have five dollars, miss. You don't know your math. But miss, you don't know my mother. <gasps> so did you learn anything at school today? No. No? Did you at least do something fun? Mm -hmm. No. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, you know what? We... Uh, oh, did you hear the rumor about the butter? No. Well, I'm not gonna spread it. <laughs> Doctor, I want to lose weight. What should I do? Do you want my camera? What about my iPhone 12 Pro Max? What about my Lamborghini? What about a hundred million dollars? Congrats, you're skinny now. Hey, what? How are you? Do I know you? I'm rich. Hi, I'm Tina. I'm 18 years old. Nice to meet you. No, no, rich is my name. 
Sorry, I don't talk to boys. Lucky discoveries that made people rich. A collector bought a painting and when he went to fix the frame, he realized that inside was a piece of paper. But it wasn't just any piece of paper. He found a copy of the United States Declaration of Independence. He bought the painting for $4, but the piece of paper is worth almost $1 million. A man whose hobby is to use a metal detector to search for treasure got really lucky. He found a strange greenish piece with a red engraving, then a chain, and finally a Celtic treasure, which is again worth close to $1 million. As a couple was packing to move to a new house, they found an action comic book number one, dated 1938 in one of the boxes in their attic. Only 99 copies of this comic exist and each are sold for 1.5 million dollars. Two plus two's five, right? No, you idiot! I'm gonna tell the teacher you swore at me! Please don't do it! What is it, Caden? May I go to the bathroom, please? Jobs you didn't know existed. Ben Lashes is an internet famous cat manager. He manages famous cats like Grumpy Cat, Keyboard Cat, and Nyan Cat. He takes 20% of their earnings. So for an example, when Grumpy Cat made an estimated $1 million in her first year, he would have made $200,000 for just one client. Water slide testers travel from North America to places like Egypt to go to water parks and test their slides. They rate them based on the biggest splash and the adrenaline factor, then post their opinions online. Their yearly salary is $34,000. The China Giant Panda Protection and Research Center posts a job online called the Panda Nanny. You have to spend 365 days a year with a panda, but you get free meals and an SUV on top of the $32,000 salary. The only requirements are that you have to be 22 years or older and have basic knowledge of pandas. Secrets hotels don't want you to know. The free breakfast they offer isn't really free. The cost of the breakfast is included in the room's rate. The people who work in housekeeping only straighten the sheets and arrange the pillows. They only wash them if there's a visible stain. Booking a room is more expensive at night because that's when most people are looking for reservations. The ideal time to call the hotel is between 5 and 6 p.m. Because at night they increase their prices because they know there's not many other options. Tipping the staff can give you a lot of benefits, such as deeper cleaning in your room, a special treatment, improvements in your room, and in general, better service. Five-star hotels know your social status before you arrive, and will give more attention to famous or wealthy people. And lastly, everything is negotiable. Hotels will always be open to negotiating a few things so you stay and leave a high review. Can you buy me glasses? My eyesight's getting weak. Look in the air. What do you see? The sun. You can see the sun, which is so far from here. How much farther do you want to see? I want to break up with you. What? Why? Because I want someone who's strong, tall, and handsome, which isn't you. You're short, skinny, and nerdy. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry to bother you. I just think you're really handsome. Can I get your phone number? No thanks. What? Uh, Why not? Don't you remember? I missed your short, skinny, and nerdy. Yeah. Yeah, track and dope, turn me to a superhero, yeah. I've got a joke. Okay, what is it? What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. Aw, how did you know? Because it's nacho joke. Eric, can you spell before? Before. B-E-P-H-O-R. No, that's wrong. Can anybody else spell it? Before. B-E-F-O-O-R. No, that's wrong. Little Johnny, can you spell before? Before. B-E-F-O-R-E. -E. Excellent, little Johnny. Now can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> That's easy. Two plus two before. Why did everyone get a bad mark? Because there's a hard test. That test was easy. Yeah, because you have the answers. Mom, what will I get for my birthday? Close your eyes for a couple seconds. Okay. Now what do you see? I see nothing. And that's what you're gonna get. <laughs> Five people who won the food lottery. When this person cracked an egg, a smaller one came out of it. This person found that in their pack of Skittles. This person got blueberries the size of a quarter. This person got a Kinder Egg with two layers of chocolate. And this person found five peanuts in one shell. My neighbor owes me $500, but he won't pay me back. What should I do? Okay, do you have any proof that he owes you the money? No, that's the thing. Then write a letter for the 5000 that he owes you. But it's only 500. Exactly. That's what he'll respond with? Then you'll have the proof. <gasps> what do you call security guards working outside Samsung shops? I'm not sure. Guardians of the Galaxy. Why are these penguins in your truck? These are my penguins. They belong to me. You need to take them to the zoo. I thought I told you to take these penguins to the zoo. I did. And today I'm taking them to the beach. Did you know dogs can smell cancer? 
They don't call them a man's best friend for nothing. Researchers have found that dogs can pick up on a specific scent that cancer produces in a person which is undetectable by humans. So if your dog's acting strange around you, it might be you that needs to get checked out. Howdy, I'm home from work. <laughs> it's my dad. Oh, how's my little boy doing? What's he doing with his hands on his face? I've never seen him do that one before. <gasps> what the heck? Did, did he just disappear? Bigaboo! <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Why do you always look at that picture of me on your phone? When there's a problem, no matter how impossible it is, I look at your picture and it just disappears. You see how good I am for you? Yeah, when I look at your picture, I think to myself, what other problem could be bigger than this one? <laughs> what comes after five? Six, seven. Good! You're an intelligent young boy. What comes after six, seven? Eight, nine, ten. Excellent! And what comes after eight, nine, ten? Jack, queen, king. Here's the dark theory about Mr. Kratz. Since he's the only crab in Bikini Bottom, fans believe that he killed the rest of them to make Krabby Patties. In this episode, when Plankton and Mr. Krabs were fighting over the Krabby Patty secret formula, he accidentally ripped off the part that said crab meat is a secret ingredient. In an episode where Mr. Krabs takes a bite out of a Krabby Patty, he said, Oh, so that's what I taste like. This is why Mr. Krabs was scared when the food inspector came. And they also believe this is why the Krusty Krab is shaped as a crab trap. Are your parents bakers? No. Because you're a cutie pie. I'm just gonna skip you now. Alright, see ya. If I could change the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. <laughs> Guess what my hoodie's made out of? Fabric. Boyfriend material. <laughs> Hello? Hi, I have a pepperoni bacon pizza with red peppers and pineapples. Um, I didn't order a pizza. This must be a mistake. No, it's not. Your neighbor forgot their Instagram password and wanted to share with you what they're having for supper. <gasps> Five coolest houses in the world. The transparent house is in Tokyo and consists of three floors with walls that are completely see-through. According to the people who built it, it was inspired by ancestors who lived in trees. In Hong Kong, there's a house that's 105 square meters with walls that move. Storage spaces unfold to create 24 individualized rooms. In Australia, there's a $700,000 house that's built on a turntable and it makes a complete rotation every 30 minutes. In Malibu, California, there's the skate House. It's a house designed by a former world champion skateboarder, and the inside consists of a large skate park. Finally, we have the Hobbit House in Wales. It was created by a photographer who's a fan of the movie The Lord of the Rings. The cost was $5,200 and only natural materials were used. This picture probably confuses you, but the buildings are just made out of Lego. This tree looks like a giant broccoli. This dog looks like a bodybuilder. This lady looks like she has really thin legs, but it's just a white stripe on her pants. This dog looks like he has bad teeth, but it's actually just a toy. The angle this photo was taken makes his arm look like a leg. The view out this window is so nice, it looks like a painting. <gasps> Addison Ray, can I ask you a question? Are your parents bakers? No. Because you're a cutie pie. I have one more question and then I'll let you go. Can you speak Spanish? Um, quiero ser mi novio. That's all I know in Spanish. That was pretty good. Well, it was nice to meet you. I love you. Love you. Would you like to watch a movie? <laughs> Me? Yes, you. Of course I do. What would you like to see? Hmm, you pick. No, you pick. I don't care. You pick. Sir, there are other people waiting in line to buy tickets. Dad, I'm late for hockey practice. Can you please do my homework for me? Son, it just wouldn't be right. That's okay, you can at least give it a try, couldn't you? <gasps> Yo bro, Jimmy just got married too. So what? Bro, all of our friends are married and have jobs and we're stuck here in the bar. We need to do something. I have an idea. What is it? Let's unfollow them. <gasps> This is on earth that no human has set foot on. This place is the island of snakes. It's in Brazil and is only visited by Brazilian military and some scientific researchers. You're not allowed to go there because there's one to five snakes everywhere you step. And the golden snake, which is one of the most dangerous snakes in the world, lives there. Grand Carpunsum is a mountain located in the kingdom of Bhutan. It's over 7,000 meters in the air and has never been touched by a human and never will. Because in 1994, climbing over 6,000 meters in the air was prohibited for religious reasons. And lastly, North Sentinel Island. The Indian government banned any contact with the island because of the aggressiveness from the people that live there. Recently, two fishermen decided to explore the island and they were killed by the people that live there. <laughs> Mommy, come look at me! <laughs> Stop jumping on the bed! You're gonna break it!
Get off the couch! It's for sitting on, not standing on. Oh, I'm hungry. Mom, when are you going grocery shopping next? We're all out of food. Uh, excuse me. Don't talk to me in that tone. And what are you talking about? We have plenty of food. What was that for? I was doing your laundry when I found a piece of paper in your pocket with the name Mary Lou on it. Who is she? Are you cheating on me? Honey, don't worry about it. Remember three weeks ago when I went to the horse race with my friends? Mary Lou was the horse I was betting on. Oh, good. I'm going to continue with the laundry. Ah! What was that for? Your horse call. <gasps> What's the problem, officer? You were going at least 75 in a 50 zone. No, sir. I was going 65. Harry, you are going 80. I'm also going to give you a ticket for your broken taillight. A broken taillight? I didn't know about that. Harry, you've known about that taillight for weeks. Mm. I'm also going to give you a citation for not wearing your seatbelt. Oh, I just took it off when you were walking up to the car. Harry, you never wear your seatbelt. Shut your mouth! Ma'am, does your husband always talk to you this way? No, only when he's drunk. All you do is sit on the Xbox. No, I don't. Then what do you do? I sit on the chair. See that old lady right there? Do you want to go steal her purse? No! Why would you even say something like that? Oh, my mom's calling. Hello? Hi, honey. You had me worried. I've called you like five times now. Where are you? Tell her you're with me. Uh, I'm with Jesse. Oh, you're with Jesse? Why didn't you tell me? Can I talk to him? Sure. Hello, Mrs. Davidson. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. I'll drop off Luke in a few minutes. I know it's getting late. Oh, don't worry about it. I don't mind him being out late if it's with you. You're a good kid. Aw, thanks, Mrs. Davidson. Well, it was nice talking to you. You too. Bye. Jeez. What a good kid. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go rob that store that the lady just walked into. George Lopez. Here. Okay. Scotty Turner? Yep. Okay. Logan Smith? Here. Wait. Smith. 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 Do you have an older brother? Yeah. You do? What's his name? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jeffrey Smith. That's your brother. Mm-hmm. <sighs> he was a bad kid. Always in detention. Never finished his work. Always late to class. Don't tell me you're like him. Are you like him? Uh, no. All right, don't worry. We're going to have a fun year. How's he doing, though? He's doing fine. That's good to hear. Okay, uh... So some of you have been calling me the CEO of Finding Games. So what did I do? I found another. Only 12% of the people that play this game have beat the first level on their first try. If you think you're part of that 12%, click the link on my profile, then press Cube Surfer Game. Try the first level, then come back and comment if you did it. Look at this picture of my horses. Why did you cut off one's tail? I couldn't tell them apart. Stupid, can't you see the brown one's a bit taller than the black one? Can I ask one question? But you just did. Okay, can I ask two questions? You already did. Okay, can I ask four questions? You just did, again. When? Right now. I'm afraid I can't let your elephant in here, sir. Oh, I assure you, he's very well behaved. All right, then, if you say so. I'm very surprised. Your elephant was well behaved and he even seemed to enjoy the movie. Yeah, I was surprised too. He hated the book. Mom, I won an iPhone in a race today. Really? Good job. How many people were there? Just me and two other people. Oh, not that many. Who were the other two? I don't really think you want to know. What? Tell me right now, the phone owner and the police. Can you write 55 for me? How do I do that? Write 5 and beside it write another 5. What are you waiting for? I don't know which side to write the other 5. Most dangerous prison inmates in the world. Charles Manson was an American criminal who led a group of murderers called the Manson family. He was convicted of conspiracy for the murders of seven people and sentenced to death. But he was later given a life sentence in prison due to a change in the law. Aileen Wernos was an American serial killer who admitted she had killed seven men in one year. She was nicknamed the monster and sentenced to death by lethal injection in 2002 after 10 years in prison. Ted Bundy was another serial killer who took the lives of at least 30 women. But the actual number of victims is unknown. 
He was sentenced to death and executed in the electric chair. Jeffrey Dahmer was nicknamed the Milwaukee Cannibal. He was sentenced to life in prison but died after fighting another prisoner. Five photos you'll have to look at twice. At first it looks like there's a giant pigeon but it's actually just sitting on a ledge and the person's walking in the distance. At first it looks like there's a human dog but the dog's actually sitting beside its owner. At first this looks like some weird looking cat but it's actually just two cats laying in the exact same position on each side. At first it looks like this fish has an arm but the fish just got too close to the camera. And finally it looks like this person has a small head but it's just the head from the person in front of them. Luke, if there were five birds sitting on a fence and you shot one with your gun, how many would be left? There would be none. No, the answer's four.